found Dash. What is he doing today? It's my food. It's over there. Yeah, it's all your food. He's concerned about his food. Dash is trying to... Is Dash trying to take your food? Huh? <laughs> you silly elf. Look at him spying on me. You looking at me, huh? <laughs> uh, I need some pizza. You need some pizza? <laughs> you just woke up, silly boy. I, I'm hungry. I need some pizza. Okay, I'll make you... Well, I won't make you pizza, but I can make you breakfast, okay? Look, he climbed all the way up to the top. <laughs> Is he being so silly? I can touch him. Yeah, you can touch him, but just don't touch Dash, okay? Because we don't want him to hurt. We don't want him to get hurt. I can jump. No, don't jump and touch him. He's going to get hurt. <gasps> and he's going to cry. Isn't that so sad? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, but look what Dash did today. He decided to color around the bananas I bought yesterday. You silly elf. But anyway, I am in a kind of a big of a kind of a big rush right now. It's 10:15, and we have to leave by noon to get to Anais' doctor's appointment back in Corpus. So we're gonna be driving all the way over there right now. Sorry, I'm out of breath, I'm like running all over the place. So we're gonna be driving all the way over there right now, but first I have to go to H-E-B, pick up her prescription, and have to go to the post office. Um, if I don't have time to go to the post office here, I'll just go while I'm in Corpus. Uh, but I need to be on the road by noon. So I need to go to H-E-B and uh, pick up her prescription. Go to the post office if I have time, um, but I also have to pick up food for us to eat. Or I could just like make something and pack it, I'm not sure. If I don't have time to pack something, then of course I'm gonna have to pick something up, so. But I'm just trying to get everything ready to be on the road right now, because she has a doctor's appointment with the surgeon that put her G-tube in. So we are gonna go see, he's gonna switch out the tube, because every six months they need to switch it out either for a bigger one or for a new one. Uh, she has a new one uh, with us, so we're gonna bring that with us so they can switch it out. At least I think that's what he's going to do. But he's also going to check it and see if it's okay and, and, you know, make sure that everything looks great and stuff like that. So, and then that will be our last appointment with all the doctors from Corpus. And then once we come back, um, I'm going to set up an appointment with a new pediatrician here and then get all her new doctors here. So, uh, which kind of sucks because I did like her geneticist doctor. I'm hoping we'd be able to keep him in Corpus because we only see him once a year. I'm not sure if they have a good one here, but the one that she has in Corpus knows almost everything about her deletion. Like, he studies it. Like, he studies it in detail. So, um, that's why I really like him, because he knows everything about it. And he, of course, he sees children with the these deletions and stuff like that. Um, and he just, you know, documents new things and stuff like that. Just, you know. Um, but since it's so rare, uh, because there's only, I think, about 30 to... I don't know if he said 30 cases or 50 cases worldwide that have been reported of children and adults and stuff with this deletion. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, um, so it's that rare. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping we, I get to keep him. I'm not sure if my insurance, since I'm here, if the insurance will cover over there. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it still does so I can at least keep him but then have new doctors over here. I don't know. We'll have to play by ear. Hey, princess. Good morning, my sweet girl. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Your hair looked all wild and crazy. Why, <laughs> oh, my baby girl? She's so tired. Good morning. Archer's in his room playing right now, but I gotta get you ready. You gotta change your diaper, and I gotta give you your medicine. <coughs> yeah, she's so happy. See that smile? I don't know if you guys can tell. <coughs> yeah, he's so happy. <coughs> It looks, last night, it, I took her bath, so I don't know, if maybe she just got soap in her eye? I'm not sure, but her face right here, it, well, last night it was a little bit more red, but like from here up, it was swollen and red. It still seems a little bit red and a little bit swollen, so I don't know. I don't know, unless she got bit by something right here. It looks like she has a little bite right there. Oh, my baby girl, my baby girl. But yeah, it looks, right here it looks a little red too, just a little spot. But over here is like her entire 
cheek right here looks swollen and red. Did that feel good when I rub my little finger? My, my little finger, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> when I rub my finger on your face? Oh, baby. So, yeah, let's start getting ready. Can't waste any more time. Can't waste any more time. So, she had her appointment and it went well. They checked her tube and it was fine. They actually switched it out with a, a new one. And, uh, and they ordered her one that's a little bit longer. Uh, so I think once we, she gets the, the one that's a little bit longer, once she gets it in, then um, I'll switch that out. So, cause the one that she has in right now is a little bit snug, uh, but it's still good. It's still a good um, button. So right now I'm headed home. Oh my gosh, it was so, right after her appointment. Okay, first of all, let me just tell you this story. I get there and for some reason, I don't know why I just couldn't find his office. I was going through the entire hospital, like in, in the area where all the offices are, like the doctor's offices and stuff. And I just couldn't find his office. Like I was so stressed out and like they give you a certain amount of time to get there after your appointment time. Okay, her appointment was at 2.20. I got there at 2.40 and I was there searching for his office for like 10 minutes and I was like they were only gonna give me until 250 so finally at like 240 uh, like at 248 or 249 or something like that I called the office and I was like where are you guys at like oh my gosh oh I was so stressed out so yeah I get to the office and then she has her appointment and um, as soon as her appointment was over I had this this like fuzzy tickle in my throat and I just could not stop coughing I just couldn't I couldn't talk I couldn't stop coughing my eyes were watering and and all the nurses and stuff were like do you need some water are you okay are you okay I'm like yeah I'm fine so I was trying to drink water I was trying to stop coughing I would not stop coughing I don't know why like the little tickle I hate that I hate it when you have a little tickle in your throat and it just won't go away and you just cough and cough let me know if this happened to anybody else but oh and so now my throat is super sore. It hurts so bad because I was coughing so much for like at least a good 10 minutes or so. Oh, it just hurts so bad. Um, so I'm gonna try not to talk too much, but anyway. So we are headed home now. She did good. I went and ran a few errands while we were still here. There's a few things like we needed to close out some accounts and a few other things that we needed to do. Before I head back to San Antonio, and I'm so tired, so I'm probably gonna stop and get a coffee right now because, oh, it's like 5.30 right now, and I'm just super tired, and I know you shouldn't be driving when you're like this, but I'm gonna keep myself awake, I'm gonna get myself a coffee, and drive home. So, I guess I'll see you guys when we get home. Plus, Bob got something yesterday, uh, his Christmas gift that he got himself yesterday, and it's really cool, so once I get home, I have to show you what it is. So we are home and the dogs are following me around everywhere. <laughs> this is what Bob got. This. Let me see if I can back up and show you guys. It has a bottle opener right here and all the caps fall in there. It has the saints symbol right here and then this at the top here, the saints. And it's a cooler. He wants to add like lights in here so. But isn't that cool? It's a cooler, but it's huge. Yeah, it's really, really, really big, but it's cool. Yep, he got that at a good price too. Oh, hold on, I'm doing it. So yeah, <laughs> oh, and the dogs are gonna follow me everywhere. So isn't that just so cool? Put like a Saints decal on here. So yeah, Bob was really excited about that. This little boy got his bike from the garage. <laughs> and he's riding his bike in the house. Okay, okay, I gotta go. I gotta go hide. I gotta go hide. I gotta go hide. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> it's because the first time he came around the corner, he did scare me. Um, so he's been wanting to play the game where he comes and he scares me. Uh, here he goes. Here you go. <laughs> he's so silly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Mm. Bob finished grilling up the chicken and I made some guac. I'm eating with some chips, so mm. so delicious. Let's eat. Hey guys, so everybody's already asleep. It is actually <laughs> it's actually 1.30 in the morning. I'm just getting some uh, orders boxed up and editing and uploading a video. I'm waiting for it to finish uploading right now so that I can just go to finally go to bed. But Anaya is still awake. I think Archer actually might be awake too. I don't know. I'm not sure. But Anaya for sure is awake. Bob's sleeping. So there. Anaya normally likes to wait for me or for somebody to like snuggle with her to put her to sleep. Archer's been for some reason doing the same thing too. Like they just been wanting me or Bob um, to snuggle with them mostly me so since Anna is not asleep yet that means she probably wants me to go over there to snuggle with her so once this video is done uploading i'm going to go ahead and go to bed so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow